hello 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 to all of my gemini's this is queen amon ra coming to you with your general reading we are still very much in this first quarter moon in scorpio also we're still in lion's gate portal is still open until the 12th right so don't forget to write out the list of things you want to manifest during this time yeah don't forget to create some kind of a ritual you know of things that you want to manifest write out that list you know you have time to write out that list and tweak it if necessary whatever it is you want to manifest now is the time to do it now is the time to do it also like i said we're in this first quarter moon in scorpio that is digging deep we're not talking about any scorpios you know as i've said we're still purging this is the time to purge 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 it doesn't always look like getting rid of people it doesn't always look like quitting a job it's purging from within dealing with those unhealthy wounded areas from some of you all's childhood is bringing everything forward so that you can purge and that you can go through your transformation okay release it and transform right to your highest selves let's get into it let's get into it see let's see what your cards have to say let's see what your cards have to say mm -mm. yeah yep somebody has been really overburdened with something here we have the eight of wands the four of wands is everything is fine it looks that was that is the ten of swords uh the knight of wands the queen of swords and the knight of swords now this knight's energy is very important because knights when you think of knight most people think of knight in shining armor right so you're taking your power back and you're getting your fire back right you're taking your power you're not unapologetically you're getting your power back you're taking it back right here we have the eight of wands the four of wands the queen of swords and also this would be the ten of swords but it's telling you that no matter how much you've been victimized or hurt in your past guess what everything is fine get up get up get up get up that's right the queen of swords see somebody is going to have to really learn how to take a stance the queen of swords energy is no joke and i've said this one time before this is where this is this is uh air energy right gemini libra um aquarius this is where somebody's really going to have to get back on their throne put all that low vibration petty energy away wanting to get back at somebody putting it under lock and key that low vibrating energy uh-uh that's not karma you want to bring on yourself because you've been hurt by a situation this is where you're going to have to save yourself be your own knight in shining armor yeah emotionally charged through those emotions of feeling like i was dumb i made a mistake this person played me you're going to have to come out of those emotions get back on your throne because there's a lot of eyes looking at you this is where you're going to have to take that pride and ego put it to the side get back on your throne lock away those low emotions right it's a lot of people looking up to you you do not want to dethrone yourself because you cannot control your emotions four of wands and also the eight of wands right so the four of wands lets me know that for some of you all new love is coming across your path that's only if you want it right but for those of you who don't want a new love you could already be in a romantic relationship and be just fine where you are or you could just be perfectly happy single how whatever the situation is somebody is going to feel a lot more grounded and a lot more rooted and structured right so on the in the event that new energy wants to come to your way to date you for those of you all who may be completely content being single you're going to be very very attracted to you because people like being connected to people within power right so again you're going to have to learn how to control your emotions this is where you're going to have to not be petty at all hey i'm taking the high road for everything that's how things are going to happen for you fast that's how you're going to start blazing through everything that you got on your list of manifesting it's going to happen for you like you like you hit a lucky streak because again you cannot vibrate low during this time it's too many eyes looking and it's not just because it's the eyes looking at you source is looking at you source is like okay no matter how petty you want to get don't do it don't do it this is not to be petty patty or petty peter <laughs> this is not the time to do it because you're hurt by something i'm tired of being hurt i'm tired of being victimized by something uh -uh. you don't want to be the reason why you dethrone yourself 
because you can't get your emotions together. It may be cute and funny at first for some people watching you, it may, but those people that are laughing, they have no interest in whether you're on their throne or not. They don't care one way or the other. They're just being entertained, right? But you have a greater responsibility, right? Here we have the Ten of Wands. As long as you are holding on to low vibrating energies and thoughts, it's going to be overwhelming, very overwhelming. Why not overwhelm yourself with sales being booked and busy versus somebody else who hurt you in the past? So somebody has learned, here we have the nine of wands. Somebody has, um, somebody has learned a lot of things about themselves on this long and arduous journey, right? About taking the high road taking the high road. I've learned a lot of things about myself of being burned, being those in those peaks and valleys, a lot about myself. Here was this temperance card. This is somebody exhibiting a great deal of willpower, learning to adjust, right? The devil is trying to keep you chained to it. The devil energy is trying to keep you chained to how you used to handle things in the past. The only energy that doesn't want to see you up here are the devil and its, and its demons. That's the only thing that doesn't want you on this throne is the devil and these demons. You got to pull it together, Gemini. Pull it together. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this past energy wants to keep you chained to it. Vibrating low, operating in a place of fear, doubt, you know, unhealthy eating habits, uh, self-medication, some kind of addiction. The enemy doesn't want you to be on this. And you can put this, you can put that spirit in any physical body. You can say it's white people. You can say it's black people. You can say it's orange, red, red, yellow. It doesn't matter who you think it is. It's a spirit, right? It is a spirit, right? So, um, because remember, if you're not sitting on the throne, somebody else is going to be crowned. So if you don't care about that, then, hey, dethrone yourselves, right? But source is not going to let that happen. Source is not going to let that happen. A light switch is going to go off in your spirit and say, hey, listen, I need to reel it in. I need to reel it in. I, I worked too hard to get on this throne for the devil to pull me off of this, right? So I see more money coming across your path because a light switch is going to go off in your head and like, I need to pull it together. That light switch could come in the form of a brand new person coming across your path. That's a very healthy distraction. It can come in the form of, a, a contract going through, you know, it can come in any form it wants to, but I'm telling you this spirit right here, it's a spirit. So you can't, you can't assign it to a person. It doesn't, it, it can come in a form of a person. It can even come in a form of a situation, right? You know, it's that thing rising up in you that causes you to do something that you could regret in the fu in the future, right? So that instant gratification may feel good because that's how the devil feels. Hey, just, you know, eat that, eat that, that, you know, that pint of, of ice cream. You're going to feel a little bit better after all that working out and hard work you've been putting into it. Yeah, you can go ahead. That's, that's not going to hurt you. Just go ahead and eat that. Eat that whole pack of cookies, right? Go ahead and take that one drink. You've been sober all this time. One drink is not going to kill you. Until you realize now that one drink, I can't stop. Right? Go back out. Go hang. Go call those friends that you, you distance yourself from because you know they got involved in some unhealthy behavior. Don't dethrone yourself and have that one this next time that they involved in some unhealthy behavior. It's a mistake that you can't undo for the rest of your life. So again, this energy wants to keep you dethroned. Don't do something that's going to keep you dethroned right keep you off of your you work too hard to get there you work too hard you work too hard you work too hard so yeah let's see what else we have here let's see what else we have here let's see what else source has for you page of swords so yeah somebody's gonna get a brand new sword and say hey listen I need to go ahead and sever ties. I need to go ahead and purge those emotions. Purge that that desire to be petty. That's what you're purging, the pettiness. I'm purging that because I don't I don't want to be dethroned. I have worked too hard. There's too many there's too many people I want to hire that's depending on me. That that my name is going at the bottom of those paychecks. 
it's too much family that's depending on me for me to be the light to bring them out of their darkness from my past life to also my future life. My kids that I may not even have given birth to yet or fathered yet maybe look may look but one day look back at this. So I, I there's too much riding on this. It's not just money, it's too much riding on it. So I got a new sword in my hand. That's my new power. That's right. So yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else we have going on here? Gemini, let's see what else we have going on here. But yeah, that's what you're purging. That's what you're purging. Three of Pentacles. Perfect alignment with your money. You want to get around people that are team you during this time because emotionally everybody is dealing with something that is causing them to deal with those places of wounding and help and, and dealing with those unhealthy parts of your life. And so dealing with that and feeling like you're forced to go through this death rebirth can cause unhealthy eating habits, could cause you to go back to drinking or possibly doing drugs or trigger something unhealthy in your spirit that sources like okay that's what you need to purge that right there if, if you got however you got to get to it through prayer through going to the gym working out even more you know not going down that aisle in the grocery store or just avoiding that store altogether <laughs> like okay i need to have my groceries delivered when i go through this list of picking things i'm not picking i don't even need to go to the grocery store i don't even want to be tempted by going down that aisle to pick up that and going back there when that phone call rings with certain, those unhealthy friendships or relationships oh that's right i forgot to block those numbers i don't even care what they think that's a trigger for me that devil energy is trying to pull somebody back you know, back to who you used to be. And you don't need that kind of energy in your life. You're trying to stay on your throne. Let's let's uh let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's see what else we have here, Gemini. Let's see what else we have going on here. I love it, love it, love it for you. Yeah, you don't want to be burdened by somebody else's mess. You're trying to you're too busy trying to be booked and busy and creating a legacy for you, right? So yeah, very nice dream journal that's a good idea for you to sit down and write a dream journal and while you're writing that dream journal remember that lion's gate portal is still open <laughs> so this is the time you're manifesting things right this is the time you're manifesting things don't go back to being petty over some stuff because you're you're in your feelings about something mm -mm. no 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 sources like nah it's time for you to adjust that says temperance card that's why there's this warm flame around you that's just like this warm loving flame like somebody feel like they got the devil on one shoulder and an angel on another shoulder ascend higher to your higher selves because that devil will give you that instant gratification only to dethrone you and sit there and laugh at you in the end look at that foal they couldn't resist right but luck is on your side see source is on your side right Sagittarius, right? We're not talking about a Sagittarius. We're talking about Sagittarius being ruled by the planet Jupiter. That's the planet of expansion. So that's what source has coming your way, expansion. So it's not like no matter what you do, you're still going to win. But no matter what you do, you're still going to win. <laughs> so what I mean by that, what I mean by that, Gemini, is no matter how long it takes, no matter how many cycles you have to go through, the end is that you win. And so it's having to, but why repeat a cycle if you don't have to? Why? Why, why repeat a cycle if you don't have to? And you don't have to. Why be overburdened with somebody else's issues? That's not your problem anymore. 18, I am kind hearted. Yeah. So 18 reduces to the number nine. One plus eight is nine, which is a regenerative number. So somebody is going through this death rebirth. It has been really emotional, right? Death rebirth is uh, Scorpio's card. And so think, why am I burdened with somebody else's issues when I would rather be creatively booked and busy? I'm, why would I give away my power? Why would I give away my place on the throne, right? Why even entertain certain low vibrating energies coming my way? Why even entertain it? 18, you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. See, legacy, right? Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. That's right. Keep your vibrations high. Stay on their throne. What's the last message most high do we have for Gemini's? 
What is the last message do we have for Gemini? Source, what is the last message do we have that we have for my Gemini's here? What's the last message that we have for my Gemini's? Let's see. The magician, that is your card. That magician card is your card, right? So the magician card is actually yours and Virgo's card, but the magician card means that you're adapting to changing circumstances. It just means that you're learning how to adapt to changing circumstances, right? And that's to unchain yourself from how you used to handle things in the past. That's what you're purging in case somebody wants, well, I still don't understand what I'm supposed to be, supposed to be purging. You're purging pettiness. And this is a situation that you don't need to be petty over because somebody may have feel hurt, like really, really hurt by a situation. That's this thing right here. Everything is fine. Get up from this space right? You learned your lesson. Hey, that's what the nine of wands is. I'm not going to be overburdened by it. I've come to terms. I'm not going to be overburdened by this. This is you just like blazing through this and watch how quickly things change for you. Source wants you to win. Source wants you to win the battle of not you dethroning yourself. The enemy doesn't. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all on Friday. Remember, um, remember, to write out your list, Lion Gates portal is still open. So continue writing your list and tweaking it as much as you like, as much as you need to, so that you can safely land on the bright side of this full moon coming up. All right, that's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye.